Lovely viewers, welcome once again to Rona 360. Rona 360 is about arts, art education, culture, and TV. So please, if you have not subscribed, kindly do so and also click on the notification button. So a couple of months ago, in fact last month, the Ga Manche visited the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. He visited the headquarters. And I'm here to break down his if you are ready for that, stay tuned and let's go. And so yes, the Ga Manche. And I have a problem with why they called him the king of Accra. I don't know. Please, my Ga friends, correct me. I think he is more than the king of Accra because the Gas are not only residing in Accra and the Gamanche is not res residing over people only in Accra. I believe there are more guns who are living outside Accra. So just as the the Asantehene is the king of all the Ashantis, I believe that the Gamanche is the king of all guns. Okay. If I'm wrong, please type in the comment section and then correct me. But that that is not but that is not the focus for this uh, day. The focus is on his apparel. There's something phenomenal about the entry. And for me, I will say that the people who captured this video did very well. I like the entry, the first part of the video. And I will say the dress that the king of Ga land or the Ga Manche wore is so nice. It's a black suit and with his white cap or white hat. And just in front of him is the Asafwache. The Asafwache who is known as Captain Ni Kwejo Insani Mankata We. In fact, he is dressed very beautifully in a smoke with a kente, you know, strip around his neck, just as the Gamanche has some. And he has the warrior hat, and it is so beautiful. Now, for those of us who do not know the essence of the, the white crown that the king is wearing, I will talk about that. Just by looking at the introductory video, you see that our king, the Gamanche, has dressed for the occasion because he was at the church and he is not the only chief to wear suits. Those who who were bashing him that uh, why should he dress this way do not know their fact. As Antony wear suit to very important programs that we all think he's supposed to wear cloth. Or Chehini also does the same thing. So if the Gamanche is doing the same thing, it is not wrong. They know why. And for your information, before the chief wears any dress for any function, he does not just wake up and, and say, I feel like wearing this. Whatever a chief, especially a king like the Gam Manche or the Asantehene or Ochehene, it is informed by specialists and also by a spiritual consultation. So they don't just wake up and wear. So we cannot begrudge our kings our chiefs for what they wear for me this political suit this black suit with the kinte and guess what the kinte has the symbol of a stool the strip the kinte strip around the neck of the garmanche has the symbol of a stool and also the symbol of the garmanche and the gun state in it which is very phenomenal and i like the fact that you see Every other normal person will wear such a, a, a black jacket and just end it there. But because he is a king, he didn't end it there. He had a cap, a white cap, which is very symbolic, which I will talk more about in later part of the video. To let everybody know that he is not just an ordinary person wearing a black suit and having a, a kente strip around his neck like how white welcome every Ghanaian or how how we even Ghanaians we welcome every white man into our country he's a king 
and not just an ordinary king. He is a king of the gas, the ga manche, the overlord or the over ruler of all the gas in in Ghana and even in other parts of the world who owe allegiance to the gas too. And that, I must say, is very, very nice. And as usual, the Asafacha is a warrior. And the smoke, for our friends who are not Ghanaians, who are watching this video, the smoke is traditionally associated with warriors. With warriors. With people who are in charge of fighting or protecting. That is why the Asafacha is in this particular blue with white strip, you know, uh, uh, smoke and his asafache symbolic hat is also on residues of bullet or uh, uh, rounds okay pop gun action rounds on it that is why he is in front leading the king to pave way to let everybody knows know that you can't just play with the king who is coming and i like that now let me talk about this particular dress this time around he's not wearing the black and white jacket or the black uh, uh, jacket or suit with a white inner he's wearing white white shirt he's wearing a white chain which is made out of beets white beets ivory beets and brown and white beets you know at the very uh, center of the chain this is very symbolic this is very symbolic this comes to prove his status as the king of the garland and you realize that the 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 beats the colored beats are even numbered you can actually count the number of the colored beats we among the white beats it is a representation of the gate and the two houses that come together to form the gun state and the chain has that part of it at the very heart the very center to sort of connote the idea that the king wherever he goes even on this assignment still has at heart the people that he is overlord of the colored part could have been could have been placed at the neck session in fact they could have been placed even at the back but you realize that the chain has white throughout from the neck and when it gets to the center there is a mixture of the white and the colored beat and it's actually resting on the hearts of the king our kings don't just dress anyhow everything they do is very symbolic now he is also wearing white you see the gas generally if Ghanaians will be fair if Ghanaians will be truthful every gun person is a peaceful loving person they are generally peaceful it is for that peaceful component of their lifestyle that is why sometimes some other tribes take them for granted they take their their kindness for 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 their weakness guys are generally peaceful in fact i can talk of a personal friend hesse okay from usu because calmness and peace is part of their life the way their kings dress clearly shows that Every gun chief, especially the gun manche, usually goes to program with white forming a major part of the costume because the white that the gun manche is wearing is a sign of peace and purity and holiness. And this can even be traced from their ancestral home in Ilefe. You know, if you should go to Nigeria and you visit the Oni of Ife, the Oni of of Ife, he he also dresses in this symbolic white so the white dress that the girl mancha is wearing is symbolic of the peace and purity and holiness that is associated with his people as guns and he himself as the king so if the king who is the leader is peaceful is is, is pure and is holy what does it tell about the people or his chiefdom the people that he rules it means they are also peaceful and holy now let's dwell a little bit about the very beautiful yet simple and expensive and intricate hat that our one and only garmanche is wearing lovely viewers this hat 
it's not just an ordinary hat. It speaks volume. He could have decided that after all, my white shirt and my chain is enough. But because it is symbolic, it speaks volume. Let's spend some time on it. Now, just by observing it, you can see that it definitely is white. The white, again, is symbolic of the purity and the peace that is associated with the kinship and the people of Ghana. Again, the cap is made of straps or stri uh, strips of white strands. So you can actually see the layers of the strip that have been built upon each other and it, and it goes to the top. With the top having a white, you know, something like a rod. Okay, something like a rod on top of it. This is very symbolic. It could have been a plain white hat. But because it is it is woven with the white strip and the white strip keeps going in circle, in circle, and it ends at the top, it is very symbolic as a king. You see, it is symbolic to me that the king is on top or a ruler of a lot of other chiefs who are also important who also have people they manage or people they rule over and so every strand of thread is symbolic to other sub chiefs in the Ghana land and it goes round round and and is knitted together to connote the idea that whether is the king or, or uh, whether it is the chief of Osu, whether it is the chief of uh, 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 Gadangbe, whether it, it, wherever a chief is in the Garland, they are knitted together. They are united. And because of the unity, they all come together to give respect, to give honor to the one who is on top of them, called the Gan Manche. That is why the top component of the cap is there. That part, if it's not necessary, could have been done away with. But because it is symbolic for a reason. So, the strands that go round, 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 knitted together, represent the close knitting of various chiefs in the Garland who have agreed to come together under one king, under one umbrella. And that one king is the Garmanche. So the king is the embodiment of all the other stools or all the other gate or all the other chiefs in the Garland. So when you see the Garmanche, you are seeing every other chief in Gar. That is why he goes out to represent the Garland. And not only the Garland, he is also a representation of Ghana and the traditional system. Traditional system in Ghana. In fact, this particular kind of hairstyle or in, in fact this particular kind of headgear or, or hat or or cap is also symbolic to the Akan Edinkra symbol. It's also symbolic uh, 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 it's also symbolic to the Akan Edinkra symbol and Akan uh, uh, word or adage that Ainfutinye Ibidi which simply means that even though there are kings, there are levels of kings. So there are chiefs and there are kings. He is a king over a people and over other chiefs. That that is what the the the, the strip or the strand woven together in circular motion, which ends at the top, really means. Now, aside that, you see a cross intersection of wavy lines on the white cap. Yes. You see, the Gans traditionally are people who live close to the sea. And their life and their rituals and custom has everything to do with the sea. With the ocean. They are people of the sea or they are people of the ocean. And you know, water is a very powerful element. So, the king's cap has a little bit of this story to tell that just by looking at the king and the cap or the traditional hat he is wearing it sort of tells you his territory 
and the kind of people he he is lord over people who lives by the waves of the sea so you see the waves of the sea okay the waves of the sea you know knitted together but then it is not the waves of the sea that is of importance one very important aspect of the wave like effect on on the heart is that the waves are intercepting and they are going round again i say you again we must be very careful and be very particular to appreciate everything about the cup the designers could have just said let's just do the waves at the left side and leave the right side let's just do the waves at the left and right side of the cup and leave the front and back but the waves that are intersecting are carefully done to go round the cup or the hat and it even has white dot element on it which lands at the top which is very symbolic you see in ghana for our friends who are not in ghana the people who have lord authority over the ocean traditionally is the gas now let me stress on that again i'm sure maybe our Akan friends or brothers might doubt this or might be angry but you see even in the Akan culture there is this adage or there is this saying that every water every stream lands into the sea if that is so where can we find the, the sea or the ocean we can only find the sea or the ocean in the gap so if every water or river that other traditional systems or other tribes used to invoke spirits used for their traditional rites lands into the sea and the sea is dominated or cared for by the gas then the question i ask is, is that who has the bigger power it is the gas because they are the masters of the sea and they are the custodians of the sea that is why whenever we are closing uh, the, the fishing season in ghana we don't go and do it in kumasi we don't go and do it in the north we do it in accra and it's not just done by the political powers or the minister of F fisheries it is done not with a chief from ashanti not with a chief from the north not with a chief from Volta, but it is done with a chief and a wulomo from the garland this is how beautiful Ghanaians we understand our culture this thing that i am saying every traditional chief in ghana knows this whether he's a ga whether he's a, a vuterian whether he he's an ashanti they know this and they respect this the unfortunate thing is that it is we the people who think our chiefs are fighting among themselves they are close because they understand tradition and customs so the wave connected effect which goes around which goes around the hearts of our affable ga manche is a symbol it's a symbol once again of the ocean and the people who are lord or masters of it spiritually economically physically which is a very beautiful thing so the costume of the ga manche in the u.s was not just about the, the white meaning purity it was to let everybody who was around there to let them know that if you come to ghana and you want to know the custodians of the sea of the oceans it is us and i being the ga manche i am the chief custodian if you come to ghana and you and you want to know the custodian and the and the overlord of the oceans it is me the ga manche and if you want to know if you want any power spiritually from the ocean from the sea traditionally my wulomos and people can do that because i am their chief so chiefs don't just dress anyhow everything they do is symbolic and it speaks meaning and for this i give our gun manche boza 24 gunshot salute because his dressing even within a christian congregation was still paying homage to his traditional ancestry 
he's he was still paying homage to his traditional ancestry because they could have just told him or he could have said oh because i know the meaning of this and i'm going to a church place let me just take it off but he knows that it is not the church that made him king it is the traditional system that m- made him king and so he understands the value of this and i must say the heart and cap is very beautiful and you realize that it is in a very pure white you know color the color is matching the same whiteness the very pure unstained purity peaceful you know meaning of the white shirt you can in fact if you are being honest nobody can say that the white cap or the white hat and the white shirt there are color variations the colors are all pure white so once again so once again this part got me really surprised and i must say long live the king long live the gang manche his royal majesty king taki Tioko choru the second uh, if i do not mention it right my gang friends and family and fans please forgive me long live the king so one would expect that just as the king was wearing the white cap and the white shirt okay his other subjects should also be in the same apparel especially the asafache who is the overlord or the guardian or the custodian or the chief protector that is captain ni kojo insani mamankatawi was also in white but then he was in his asafache headdress now for those of our friends who are not ghanians or who are even ghanians but are not gans who do not know the value of the asafache and i must say the asafache did something very beautiful you realize that when the king was having pleasantries with the white the asafache was still having an eye on on the white making sure that his king is safe and sound he doesn't care whether we are in church he was just doing his job and for me i must say that is a mark of diligence that is a mark of devotion that is a mark of someone who is true to his his duty who will not give room for errors and i must congratulate the asafache and still wearing the white but was still in his symbolic hat to let even the church members n- n- know that he is a traditional leader but for our friends who do not know the role of the asafache or who the asafache is let me take us down a little bit of history you see there is this royal pact or relationship between the ga manche okay and the asafache history recalls the third anglo war fought between the gan dangbes and the anglo people which saw the gans winning i mean the anglo war was fought in 1874 and that war was led by captain ni kojo insani mankata the first after the, the war the gan dangbes won over the anglos and they seized seven guns from the from the anglos we all know how warlike and powerful anglos are so if guns or the gun dangbes were able to defeat them that should tell you how powerful and how strong the gun dangbes are so historically because that war was led by the first uh, uh, the asafache at that time the guns are kept in the royal house okay of the asafache and before the garmanche is sworn into office he must visit the the traditional home or the ancestral home of the of the asafache where these seven guns are and he must swear an oath with these seven guns before the gun manche or whoever is becoming the gun manche is qualified to sit on the guns too so the gun manche does not go and leave the asafache the two have a long standing traditional bond and this bond is sealed by commitment and loyalty that is the reason why the asafache currently the one in the video captain new kojoin sandim 
Mankatawi was playing his role by protecting the Gam Manche by keeping an eye on what people are even doing around the Gam Manche. And I must say, he is perfect in his costume and he's doing a very, you know, lovely job. Once again, I want to give it to the Asafache. Many Ghanaians would think that, I mean, if someone goes to the States, the US, and the person is a traditional leader, especially especially if the, the person is acting in the portfolio of Asafache or an executioner or a palace, you know, guard or someone who is a sub-chief, the person will do away with this tra tradition. If you see in this picture, this is the Asafwache coming in a white white dress and wearing the native Ghanaian Ahinema, the black one, even in the States. And that is beautiful. He has made the Ahinema fashionable. He has made the Ahinema very fashionable. And he's working in it gently to let the young ones know that even in the States, in a very classy building, uh, like the headquarters of the Latter Day Saint, you can be proud of who you are as a Ghanaian, as a Ghan, as an Ashanti, wear your white white or any dress you want, and so wear your Hinema sandals. And I must give Nim Mankata 24 gunshot salute. So that is all that I have for you. I believe that you now appreciate the beauty, the intricacy, and yet simple and elegant dressing of the gam manche please type in the comment section to add up to the conversation on other things that you saw and even their meaning to help all of us learn and appreciate our culture the king has actually redefined white shit for me and i've come to now appreciate the beauty of white shit just simple classy white shit and i love that this is what we have for you. We'll meet one more time again. Bye-bye.